Okay. I'd like to uh, I'd like to move to page 32 of your business plan, key strategy 2.1. Maintain and manage reliable access to qualified service dogs for Albertans with disabilities and mental health issues. Differs from Key Strategy 2.2 on page 30 of last year's business plan. Improve access to qualified service dogs for Albertans with disabilities and mental health issues. Does your ministry not feel that this program continues to require further improvement given the change to your key strategy? I think our programs are designed to make sure that Albertans, uh, they respond to the needs of Albertans. And on this particular issue, uh, when we became government, there was pretty much only one and a half school that was training these dogs. And we worked on that. And now there are uh, five more new schools that are on that pre-qualified list. So we are working with our community partners these schools to make sure that uh, Albertans can have access to these uh, animals which are very important uh, to them and Alberta can keep pace with the demand. So as you've mentioned last year you provided six groups that train dogs with grant funding to build capacity in order to apply to be on the qualified list of service dog training. How many service dogs have been trained in the past year? And have all six of these groups now been approved on the qualified list? Eight. Including, I guess, the existing one, it's eight groups that are on the qualified list. And, and 45 dogs have been qualified by those since January. 45 dogs were, were qualified last year by the six groups? Since, since January, this January, 45 service dogs have been qualified by Alberta's eight approved service dog organizations. Is there a current wait list for service animals? Can you please? Is there a current wait list for service animals? Uh, there is always a demand for these animals, but having those organization certainly helps to address those wait time and also training these dogs sometimes take time as well. How many, uh, do you know how many individuals are on the wait list for a service animal in the province of Alberta? No. I can undertake to provide that information on this. We can provide that information. But at this time you're un unsure? No. Okay. Um, do you know um, what analysis has been done on the value of a service dog, not in terms of the costs of training, but the value to those receiving uh, service animals? And, and, and how does that uh, both impact quality of life as well as um, costs associated or not associated with those individuals? I think there are uh, many research studies that those who rely on these animals for support, they are important source of uh, emotional support for them, support in daily living. And when we were making these changes, I was also part of those consultations and heard directly from the individual as well, those who rely on these uh, supports. So certainly there are, these are important supports for those who rely on that. But at this time your department doesn't track or um, measure any of those outcomes, is that correct? Any of those outcomes that what difference it makes? Yeah. For someone who relies on that, it makes a whole lot difference from daily living to emotional support that what Albertan described to us. That's why there was a demand. That's why there was uh, a desire to have more schools. And that's why we took action.